it, is this the crumble cookie or is this the crumble cookie? I can't tell. I was eat them all. Ah! Hey Sugar Geeks, Liz here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a copycat crumble cookie recipe. We're starting with chocolate chip. It's coming up next on the Sugar Geek Show. So first we're gonna go ahead and start making our dough. It's super easy. Softened but not melted butter. Just be room temperature. Now we're gonna cream this just until it's smooth. Good enough, I say. Now we're gonna sprinkle in the white sugar. And now we're gonna do the brown sugar. So now we're gonna cream this until it has started to lighten in color and looks nice and fluffy. People generally under cream, so you know, they would stop at this point. This is not creamed yet. You want it to get a little bit fluffier. If you see any like chunks of butter that are not mixing in, just, you know, like get it. If you don't get all of the butter mixed in, then you're just gonna have a big melty weird spot in your cookie. Still gonna be delicious, but you know, we're going for aesthetics here as well as taste. All right, so this has lightened in color and looks, you know, fluffy and aerated. And because there's not as much butter in this recipe as a typical chocolate chip cookie, then it's gonna take a little bit longer to do the full creaming. So don't give up, it'll get there. I'm also using my Bosch Universal Plus mixer. There's a link down in the description if you wanna check it out. But you can use any mixer. You can use a hand mixer, you can use a KitchenAid, you know, whatever you got. You can use it. Now we're gonna add in one egg straight out of the fridge. Mix that till it's combined. I'm gonna add in my vanilla, as Avalon calls it. All right, so I have my all-purpose flour here. Very important that you use all-purpose. And I've got a lot of baking soda. This is one of the secret ingredients to making a nice, big, and fluffy crumble cookie. And some salt. I'm gonna whisk that until it's combined. I'm going to sprinkle the flour into the butter mixture. And I'm just warning you now, this is gonna be a much thicker dough than you're probably used to, and that is normal. If it's way, way too thick and crumbly, you can add just like a little bit of egg, like a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or so, until it, it should still be crumbly, you'll see, but not too crumbly. In this particular recipe, it's kind of important that you use a large egg. If you're from a country where you don't have standardized egg measurements, that's about 1.6 ounces with the shell on. Once the flour is mixed in, we're gonna add in our giant chocolate chips. Ironically, these are mini Hershey's Kisses, but they look like giant chocolate chips to me. And they have to be the milk chocolate if you want these to be like the same as the crumble cookies. They always use the, the giant Hershey's milk chocolate chips. I saved a couple of my chocolate chips to put on top of the cookies for aesthetics. What? Aesthetics, you heard me. All right, so now we're gonna weigh these out into about five ounces, and then we're going to let these chill either overnight or at least an hour. And the reason for this is because flour needs time to absorb water. It's kind of like an auto lease if you're a bread geek, <laughs> which I am, or like um, blooming gelatin. Like it just is not, everything's kind of separate. But when you let your cookie dough chill, you're actually not trying to make it cold. It gets cold in like 30 minutes. What you're actually letting happen is the flour is absorbing water. And what does that do? It prevents spreading. Oh, exactly five ounces. <laughs> I would say this is about a third of a cup, about the size of a tennis ball. And we don't want to like smooth this out. Like you want it to kind of keep that craggly look, right? So this recipe makes about eight very large cookies. So I kind of bake four at a time, but you know, you could try and fit eight on there if you're feeling dangerous. They don't spread a lot, but they do spread a little. So I love crumble cookies, chocolate chip cookie, and that's why I chose to do this one as my first copycat. My second favorite is their sugar cookies. But honestly, I love so many of their flavors. I love the banana, I love the galaxy chip. Like, they're just all so good. If you've never had a crumble cookie, I'm so sorry. 
Please see if someone can ship you one. <laughs> and if you have had them, I wanna know what is your favorite. Leave me a comment down below. And while you're down there, you should probably hit that subscribe button because you know you wanna see what crumble cookie I'm gonna make next. Now we're gonna put these into the refrigerator, like I said, overnight or at least an hour. We're gonna bake these for nine or 10 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll, we'll check, we'll see. Oh yes, those look so good. Oh my goodness, these turned out so good, if I do say so myself. Perfectly, like lightly browned around the edge, nice and gooey in the center. Got that nice craggly texture that, yes, we've decided that is the specific word to describe the texture of a crumble cookie. It's craggly. So you might be tempted to over bake these cookies because you're like, oh, that doesn't look done. It's done. It's not a super moist cookie dough. So if you bake it to the point where you think it's gonna be baked, it's gonna be dry and hard as a rock by the time it cools down. So you see it's just barely brown around the edges and it still looks almost like raw in the center. It's baked perfect. This took um, my oven about nine minutes. My oven does run a little bit hot. So it could be between nine and 10 minutes depending on your oven. It's still gonna be delicious no matter what though. Okay, so just for fun, let's compare. Um, now, visually, slightly different, okay? This one is a little bit more textury, and I'm not sure if that's because they're just like leaving the dough more textury when they're scooping. I definitely smushed mine with my fingers to get it smashed out. The edges are a little bit more round on this one, a little bit more craggly on this one. All right, time to do a comparison taste test. Ready? So this is the crumble cookie. Soft, chewy, delicious. I'm analyzing. I have to close my eyes. Honestly, I think this is better. <laughs> it might be because it's fresh, right? I feel like this is a little bit butterier, to be perfectly honest. Like it tastes really similar, super, super close, but this is very slightly butterier. And I got this yesterday, so maybe after like 24 hours, it'll settle down a little bit. But taste comparison wise, super, super close. <laughs> I'll just eat them all. <laughs> so that's it guys. That is how you make a perfect copycat crumble cookie recipe. If you wanna check out more copycat recipes, check out my loft house recipe right there. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.